Why don't we take a look at one of my friend's world coin collection? Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Steve Rice's granddaughter. And we're here to show off your coin collection, part of it. From around the world. And these are some things that you've gotten off your granddad, Steve Rice? Yes. And how long have you been collecting? Mm. One year. One year? All right, why don't we dig in and see what you got? Show them off to everyone. Let them see what you got. Ah, that's your favorite, isn't it, right now? That's beautiful. Bring it up just a little bit more. There you go. Down right there. Beautiful. That was a beautiful looking coin. You got it upside down? No, you got it right way. I'm upside down. <laughs> Many people say that. That is a beautiful back to that coin. Look at that. You know what it is? It's one ounce. Point nine nine nine. It's got the United States of America on the back, right? Magical Congress of the United States of America. There you go. And on the front's got the Queen. And it's what? It's got a face Queen value of five dollars. Maybe more than that. That's a beautiful coin. Where's it from? You know where it's from? What does it say? Right over on this side. Cook Islands. There Cook you Islands. go. So New Zealand? Is that what we're saying it's from? All right. That's that one. What else do you have there? We have some British coins, 1860 through 1961. Got a nice little variety in there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'll show one off. All right, show one off. Well, you got quite the little stack here. I, I don't have a lot of foreign coins. I got a lot of United States coins. I have a few uh, bullion pieces from around the world that are in silver, but... You've got many more different denominations than what I got. This isn't silver, but it's a coin. Is that a penny? Yes, one penny. A British penny? Very nice. You know what the date is on there? Can you see it? I'm sure your eyes are better than mine. 1937. 37, 1937. Very nice. Uh, let's see what else you got. Are you saving the silver for last? Mm, I have one silver coin somewhere in these one of these bags. I think it's that one. What do you got there? What did you just pick up there? Some United, United Kingdom, Kingdom, Great Britain. Yeah. And you got another variety of... I don't know the British coins that way. That's why I'm letting you do this video because you got you got a bigger you got more of a handle on this than what I do. Is that the silver one? Um, I don't know. That looks like it may be a Canadian. Is that no? No, I'm wrong. I believe that is a British coin. What's the date on that one? The date is 1970. 1970. Right there. It is silver? No, it's not silver. Not silver. That one is not silver. I thought you had a little bag rounded up of all your silver coins in one of them, didn't you? Before we got going? Mm -mm. No? One? I think it might be this one. It has a silver coin, maybe. British know. India coins? Is that the package you just picked up? Or we got India. some Indian ones here. I think from I India. Let's check this one. Trying to hunt down the silver one in there. <laughs> and what is this gigantic bag in the back? I mean, goodness. It's a whole variety of different type of coins. It has some Queen Elizabeth II coins, some copper coins, Different type of coins. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Now, what do you got there? Is that the silver one? I think it might be. What's the date on that one? 
It is a 1962. Oh, 1962. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like it. Use those, use those young eyes. Far <laughs> better than mine. That's pretty. I do believe that looks like it's got some silver in it. Can you tell? Can you tell your grandpa what uh, country it's from? It's from India. It's from India. 1962 India. Probably got some silver in it. Right. Okay, and now we're gonna look at the British British old coins. Okay. We have four. De definitely of copper. Them. Yep, copper. I think they're all the same ones. They look like they're the same design. Well this one's a different one. Oh yeah, it is. Pretty cool. 19. What's that date on the bottom say there? 1918. 1918. Nice. British, India. Yeah. Mm -mm. British old coin. Right. Very nice. Very These nice. Just the British ones, though. So, what is this right here? This goes back to another YouTuber that gave this to us that we thought would look really good in your collection. Um, winning Image gave this to me. Uh huh. She won it in a giveaway. Mm -hmm. And that was from Coin World UK. And she's so sweet. She gave it to you. 1937. Very nice. Very nice. Like I said, I, my knowledge in the in the foreign coins, especially if it doesn't have silver in it, really, really starts to fade. So that's that's different. Is that a more modern coin there? This is a, a 2016 Elizabeth II. Modern coin, cool. I have yet to see any of those around. Well, I saw it briefly when you had it. Yeah, who who's on that side? Britannia. Ah, the Britannia. Very nice. What's its uh, value? Do you know what its regular value is on there? Does it say? It doesn't say? Mm -mm. Well, I don't see Denomination anymore. on there? Do you know? It says it's two pounds. Two pounds. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's two pounds. They work in pounds over there. So that's, it's, and their pounds worth more than the American dollar. So, good little money there. Hi, everyone. Find a Hope queen. everyone out there has got uh, a child that's encouraged in coin collecting. We need more of people like her at a young age to get into coins so that we can keep this hobby going strong. And it's always um, good. The Queen Elizabeth mm. II. Yes. It is a 1965. Ah, that's a Canadian uh, nickel, I it believe, is. right? It's very pretty. That one I recognize. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of these. Small sizes, big sizes. You're trying to get coins from every country in the world. Yes. So you can put them on a map and everything, right? That's what your yes. plan is to do? Try to get a coin from so every I country in the world? Yes. Well, I'd say you got the British covered fairly well. Yeah. And India. And I know you said you had some Chinese ones in here. I don't yeah. know. Is that a Chinese I, one there? Yeah. Usually the holes in the coins, especially in the center, they remind me of Chinese tokens to some degree. We've had a couple in the past. We made a lot of them, and a lot of them were found in great condition yet. So they're not worth a lot, but still a piece of history. I, don't, I can't tell whether that's a Chinese one or not. Does it have any writing that you can tell on it in a language that you can decipher? So it says Pice India. India. So it's 1943. Another, so it's another India coin. I did not realize they had holes in their coins at one time. Pretty cool. It was out of the. A ruby? Ruby. Rupee. Hmm. Rupee. A rupee. Was well, there anything else you wish to tell the crowd out there? Um. It's great to see Silver Steeler and Winning Image Photography make a visit. To your grandpa Steve Rice. Yes. You watch all our videos. Do you want to? You want to help me with line, lines now? We'll end the video. 
Remember to like, subscribe, subscribe and, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.